Hello, and welcome to the final episode of Season 1 of Yediot, screened live at the Bayit. Let's go inside. The BA Orchestra met for the first time in many years to re-record some of their classics. If you listen carefully, you'll be able to hear the Benair Kiva First Symphony. <laughs> last night in the Bongs. Speaking of last night, we are coming to the end of the 5771 Muscurates team, and as such we thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to get to know our Muscure over the past year, Michael Rainsbury. Here's an in-depth interview. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Arsenal or Tottenham? Tottenham. Essex or Brent? Essex. Worst BA moment? Um, taking the South of Benekiva to the wrong Tottenham venue. <laughs> Best BA moment. Best BA moment? Your heart's for this year. Yudiot or Torata Bayat? Oh, gotta be Yudiot. <laughs> Shabbat Lashem or Seva Hasfira? Well, since I edited Shabbat Lashem last year, I'm gonna have to go with Shabbat Lashem. Chinuch or Kirov? Chinuch, obviously. What's your final message to the Tanua? I think B'nai Kiva is the most amazing educational and empowerment system out there. Um, it's a youth movement which allows you to take responsibility, to learn, to grow, to develop personally, to give to others, and to give in so many different ways, whether it's through hadracha, whether it's through technical, whether it's through doing so many other tough gidim. Everything is valued, and what we do on B'nai Kiva is we're creating a model society to be transferred into, in, into Israel when we all go, and it teaches you amazing skills for that. And I think that the key thing for everyone to realise is where they can fit in with B'nai Kiva. Yes, it's a voluntary movement, and people can see it as an option, something that we could do. But really, if we really believe in our ideology, we understand that we actually have a responsibility to do it. It's an obligation on us. We have to keep giving to Am Yisrael, we have to go to Eretz Yisrael, and we have to learn in, the, in Torah Yisrael. And I think if we see it like that, as an obligation, then we'll have a, such a stronger movement with even more passion and ideology exuding from everyone's um, words and actions. And I think the key to everything in B'nai Kiva is that we always try and be the best. We're always striving for the ideal. We're an idealistic movement. We don't settle for second best. We keep learning. We don't stop learning Torah. We keep giving. We don't say we're going to do certain lachanot and we're going to stop. We're going to continue giving and doing more things, contributing as much as we can. Every opportunity we can, we give, because we don't waste time and we don't waste opportunities. And obviously, um, as well, with, um, with Eretz Israel, when we go to Israel, it's not something that we make our and we stop. We've got to continue giving. I think if everyone in the movement really realised this, and we came together as a community, as a society, to really understand this, these goals, then we would be even stronger than we are today. And I think, so far, B'nai Kiva is at a great stage. We're really producing great Majachim. Um, our Chanachim are really enjoying it. We've had great numbers and great quality of all the things we do over the year. I've been really proud to represent it, and I'm really proud that the people continuing in Bnei Kiva are going to do even better. And I think that if we can continue as a community to do that, then Bnei Kiva will be very strong for years to come, and hopefully we'll all um, continue what we're doing in Eretz Israel. Uh, if I was Muzkir of B'nai Kiva, I would um, invite David Cameron to come and speak at Limud and tell him how great conservative government I've been for B'nai Kiva. If I were Muzkir, B'nai Kiva would be shutting down throughout the UK and worldwide. Why do you feel this, Rabbi? If I were Muzkir, B'nai Kiva would be making Aliyah to Eretz Israel today. 
If, hypothetically speaking, I were Mother Kier Bonaire Kiva, I would seek to continue all of the great work that outgoing Mother Kier Michael Rainsby has done over the past year. I'd continue to support the Mother Kierot of next year so that we can improve all of our events, whether that be Machanok, schools, Savot, you name it, as well as thinking out of the box a little bit to create new events. Finally, it's vitally important to continue to let the community know all of the amazing reasons why we are the best communal organisation around. Do you find that sometimes you just can't get enough of Mahane? Relive the best moments with these extended highlights. So, Chavirim v'chavirot, all of you at uh, B'nai Kiva Machana, it's wonderful to be able to send you this message and to send it in these nice warm circumstances instead of being out there in North Wales near Grich Castle or anywhere else in the freezing English summer. But I do hope you have a most wonderful, wonderful time. I know that you're going to be, uh, you're, you're involved now in six different Machanot, Aleph, Aleph Chalutzi, Beit, Beit Chalutzi, Gimel, and Yachad, um, and uh, there are going to be a whole lot of you, something like 500 of you, plus 250 Madrichim. And I hope you will find, as I found B'nai Akiva Machana, up in Yorkshire, in Pateley Bridge, an experience I've never forgotten from that day to this, although many, many years have passed. For me, Machana was always about learning the real Ruach of B'nai Akiva. It's about accepting challenges, learning who you are, making Chavirim v'chavirot who will be friends of yours for life. Somehow this is an intensive and deep encounter with the real Hashkafa of B'nai Akiva, with Torah v'avodah, Torah that makes a difference to the world. So may all you do be blessed, may you have a wonderful time, may you be full of memories um, that will stay with you for a lifetime. May you make good friends. May you become leaders in your own right and have a great time. Shalom, shalom. Hear my mama calling me, hear my mama calling, come.